In today's video, I visited Singapore's central business district and explored Lao Pasat, one of the most popular hawker centres in the city. I also visited Merlion Park and the Bay, which are must-dos on your visit to Singapore. It's my third day in Singapore and I'm so excited because for lunch today I'm going to one of Singapore's most well-known hawker centres called Lao Passat and if you don't know what a hawker centre is, it's basically an open-air food market. I'm really excited to take you along, show you around, show you the different food options available and highlight how it is a must visit when you come to Singapore. So I'm just walking up to the bus stop now and I think the bus should take about 30 to 40 minutes to take me to La Passat. For some reason I thought it would be a good idea to wear makeup today. Um, not sure how that's gonna go. Probably melted off already, but we'll see. <laughs> to get into the center, I just jump on a bus and the way the buses work out here in Singapore is you tap in and then you have to also tap out. So that means that they charge you a fare based on how far you're actually traveling, um, which is very different to London because in London you just get charged one fare no matter how many stops you're going. Lao Passat is a rebuilt Victorian covered hawker centre in the central business district of Singapore and there's local delicacies, international food stalls, there's just so much to choose from. I was so impressed at how affordable the food at Lao Passat is. Um, you can expect to spend about 10 to 20 Singapore dollars for food and a drink and even a dessert too, which is what I got, um, and that's about five, six pounds. <music> Somewhere to sit was super super difficult. Um, it's very busy, it's lunchtime here, but I've got some wonton noodles. They look absolutely amazing, so I will let you know how they taste. That was my first time trying wonton and it was actually really really good. It only cost me five um, Singapore dollars, which is about three pounds. Um, yeah, super affordable here, really nice. I've got myself a mango and peach juice and I'm gonna go try and find some sort of like dessert. Um, they have a few like bakery stands with like muffins and stuff like that. So let's see what they've got. I got myself a little dessert from um, butter and cream. This is a Kit Kat like donut thing. I think they were calling it like a dolphin. That's such a weird word, like I've literally never heard that word before. But this cost me um, $2.60, which is about £1.50. The mango and peach juice cost me $2.80, which is about £1. Uh, £2, about £2. So all together, I've spent on lunch, a dessert and a drink, 10 or 11 Singapore dollars, which is literally like six pounds for the wonton noodles, the donut and the juice. I think that's really good. I didn't realize Singapore could be so affordable. Also, if you ever watched my um, not caring what other people think vlog, it took me a lot to get over vlogging in public today because I'm on my own and it's really busy here. So I'm like, super super proud of myself that I'm literally just vlogging in public. It's very cringe but I always say that cringe is good because it means that you're out of your comfort zone. So Lao Passat is super close to uh, Marina Bay. It's literally like a few minutes walk. Well I think it's a few minutes walk. Let me have a look. Maybe it's more than that. Okay yeah it's saying an 18 minute walk so it's definitely further than I thought but that's fine. Um, I'm gonna head down there and get some footage of like the bay and the park. Um, before I head back. It's been so nice exploring Lao Passat and coming into the centre on my own. Look how quiet it's got now like lunchtime. It's 2.16pm. Uh, I got here about half one and it was so busy and now there's literally so many places to sit. Like when I arrived I couldn't find a table and now there's like more tables than there aren't. So I should have just come like a bit later but actually it was good for me to like show you guys what it's like here at lunchtime. All the office workers come down here and it gets really busy. On the weekends uh, my cousin told me they shut the roads around Lao Passat and they put the tables out into the roads because it gets so busy. Um, it would be super cool to see that. I might uh, end up over here during my time in Singapore, but I'm not sure if I will. So I just thought I'd let you guys know. It would actually be so cool to work around here. 
like look at all the high-rise buildings and then you've just got Lao past that right here anyway I'm just walking over to Merleon Park now I don't even know if I'm saying that right by the way and um, we're gonna go see the bay I've reached the bay. That was only like a few minutes walk from Lao Passat down to the water here. And then I think it's about another five, ten minute walk up. I think I can walk up this way. Um, and in a moment you're going to see Marina Bay Sands Hotel, which has the famous infinity pool on the top. When you like Google pictures of Singapore, that's the main thing that comes up. I always wanted to go there. I think you have to be a guest of the hotel. There it is. Marina Bay Sands. This is some sort of tower. I'm guessing you can have drinks up there. O U E Bayfront. Or is it Q O Q U E? I'm not quite sure. So, this is the Marina Bay Sands Hotel. I've also just seen this sign. I didn't even realize there was like wildlife in the bay. I mean, that's kind of stupid because obviously there is. The Marina Reservoir was turned from salt water to a freshwater reservoir freshwater fishes but does this mean there's like turtles there's literally like no one around it's super super quiet it's a monday afternoon it feels so nice like i don't think you could ever be in london city and have it feel this quiet um it's just yeah it's so peaceful i've got a little water water fountain um should be about a couple minutes walk now what is the time it's half past two so yeah come to marina bay on a monday at half past two and this is what it all looked like so peaceful people taking photos in front of the hotel loads of people here compared to down there but that's because there's a really nice view of the hotel very hot but it's not too humid which is so nice because I've got my mini fan I bring my mini fan everywhere now my hair's still frizzy my cousin lent me her frizzies thing to put in my hair serum or whatever it was um, tried it for two days doesn't seem to have had much of an effect but yeah when you come to hot places like this you just learn to accept that you're not gonna look amazing just even if you're not gonna come specifically for Singapore just coming for like a couple of days layover on your way somewhere else is so worth it. So, so, so worth it. I would highly recommend. Oh, I'm just so happy, guys. I'm so glad that I came to Asia. And this is just the first stop of many for me. I'm going to be going to the Philippines, which I cannot wait. I've never been to the Philippines. I'm going to be going to Japan. Australia, never been to Japan, never been to Australia. I just, I don't know how this is my life, but this is probably the happiest I've ever been. And this is probably the best year of my life so far. We're only in March, so it could change, but I'm just so, so grateful. And going for your dreams makes you happy. <laughs> That's the takeaway, key takeaway from these videos. <laughs> 